social media, I feel like what what surprises me or or where I kind of get concerned is that, like we talked about in the beginning, it's the younger generation, even younger than us, right? Where um, this is all that they know. They don't know relationships outside of like you actually having to be in this magnificent <clears throat> relationship. And that sucks. It's a scary, scary thing. And I think for a lot of people to start asking these questions now, uh, because I feel like a lot of times people go on autopilot and you don't even realize what you're doing. Mindfulness in your daily day to day, or even like when you do, like you pick up your phone in the morning and you just jump right on social media and you don't even realize what you're really doing. You're on autopilot. And um, it, I, I think for our younger generation, I was at the mall just the other day and um, I was eating at the food court and there was like five girls sitting at the table and everybody was in their phone. So there's, there's no more human interaction. There's, there's no exchange mm -hmm. anymore. You know, everything is through their phone. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, you know, a little bit more of another topic, but in that, you know, there's its benefits, there's the pros, but it's this illusion that, you know, they're supposed to be perfect and hitting their TikToks. Like, you know, like they're supposed to be like performing. It's a, it's a performance yeah. every day um, just for that validation. And that's so hard to keep up with, like, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. You know, but back to what you were, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, as I get older, it's like, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Like if I'm really taking time out of my day to maybe go have lunch with you or just sit and have a conversation with you. Why the hell are you in your phone? Like, I feel like, I, I kind of feel that um, as a little disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, because I'm trying to build with you. We're trying to have a conversation. Or why do you have to have your phone when you're eating lunch or, you know, anything like that? So I just feel like, and, and like you said, it's just the, era that we're in today um and you know everybody is so caught up on their phones their social medias and things like that um but at some point I, I just wish it would go back to the way things were where people really did interact with one another yeah I agree those authentic authentic moments of just saying okay. something or meeting someone or like you really having like a genuine like just moment of wow like I just really met this really cool person and doesn't have to be a relationship but right like a friendship so, in exchange you know so let me let me just counter that I agree with y'all for the most part mm -hmm. but I do think the advancement in technology almost forces us to use the phones like that um just for the simple fact of of course there's certain things that you should put your phone down and, and get away from it because it, it can be mentally and, and physically mm -hmm. destructive at times. But use the phone for everything. Like advancements in technology force you to gravitate to the internet. And where do we most conveniently have the internet? On our phones. We use mm -hmm. our, our phone for business. We use it for entertainment. We mm -hmm. use it to keep up with personal tasks, responsibilities. We use it to wake up in the morning. We use it to go to sleep. We use it to play music. Like I can go on and on and on and on and on. Yeah. So it's like telling someone just to completely detach from it is kind of unfair when society is gravitated towards it. Like you can't, it's certain things you can't even do um, compared to before. Um, that require human interaction. Like, for example, like if you wanted to apply for a job, you can't go in most places and handwrite a resume and give it to them. They're going to tell you, go on the internet, apply. Yeah, apply on the internet apply. or something. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's certain things where it forces you to use it to the point that we have this thing right here. It, 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 it's a part of our everyday lives purpose, purposefully. That's, I think, what they are trying to get across in that um, documentary, the, the Netflix documentary. The oh, okay, yeah. Uh, and how they do so much to keep you glued to the phone. Now, of course, they use it for ad purposes and to try to control our psyche and, and, and yeah. get us to buy products or whatever. But we have so much here, it's kind of hard just to easily say, okay, just stop using it. I think what Letitia was, I'm sorry, Keandra, go ahead. Oh, you go ahead. I was just going to say that 
I, I get where Letitia was coming from, Quentin, and maybe maybe it's posed a different way. So anyway, like if I'm at dinner on a date and you cannot pay attention to me because you are in your phone and it's not like, a, oh, hey, let me let me go take this call real quick and come right back to my phone or, um, right. you know, give me one second, you know, like, but it's, I think for me, it's, I get it. We're, we, we need to still communicate to other people like through email, through um, text, people who are connected to us in our business lives, right? But at some point, although we're so um, into technology, we have to detach. Like you have to literally like, like be cognizant of how much you're, what you're doing on your phone. Like just put it away, like leave it alone, especially if you have people around you that you know you want to interact with. That's what I crave. I think a lot of people are desiring the the human interaction again like i i want to meet people in real life but you know i just feel like everybody is so much more comfortable now using their phones and you know hitting up dms and you know instead of asking me out on a date personally or talking to me you know or something of that nature so i get both of your points but i think if Letitia, if I'm right, you were talking about more of those intimate interactions where you're not working. It's not like you have any obligations at this point. So why can't you put your phone down? Because I've, I've, I've had that happen to, to me and one of my good friends, sometimes, you know, I'll be talking and she's just on her phone and then I'll pause and then she just look at me and I'm like, okay. And she's like, oh, wait, what? And I'm like, come on, bro. Like, this ain't okay, you know, and it, it, it is, it's a, it's an interaction because it's like, damn, like I'm here with you right now. Like they're not here with you right now. Like the people in your world and your phone is not here. Like, right. like you're spending time with me. So put it down. You know, I have a friend that has been trying to detach herself. She called it detoxing from social media, from the phone. She, and she's been on a scroll for like a year now. So during her working hours, um, her phone is, she's available. When she gets home, that's her family time. Her phone is away. Oh. It's on the chart. Like she does not pick up her phone for anything. Her, of course, if it's ringing uncontrollably because anything can happen. Yeah. Um, but as far as like, you know, outside the outside world and everything, um, she's like, she's trying to get her family dynamic back to, um, a place where I guess where she's comfortable with um, she said because she's trying to show her kids her kids are always you know on the game watching tv you know on their tablets on the phones yep. and she's trying to you know set an example for them so she no longer like interacts pretty much after you know after she gets home with with social media period it's actually really good yep I was gonna say like because you guys kept saying like it's you know it's hard to detach and like I totally get that but it's possible mm -hmm. I um I went on this activist retreat like a couple of years ago and we didn't have our phones and this was for two weeks oh. we were fine so like, like, <laughs> it was like it's uh I, like I get what like you know you were saying Quentin like you know how we feel forced, like we're not forced, we just feel forced. Yeah. You can function without being on your phone 24 seven, but this was out in like the country. It was like on like a farm somewhere. And all we had was each other. It was like a big group of like political activists. We talked about issues that were important to us. We played with the animals, we read books, we played games, you know, and nobody died because they weren't on their phone. Um, but just to, go back to what you guys were saying, like having that human interaction, that kind of like how you said, Leticia, that's like my biggest pet peeve too. Mm -hmm. And I find that people get annoyed to, get annoyed with me because I'll tell them like, can you get off of your phone? I do the same like, thing. Mm -hmm. Get off of your phone. Like, it's like, you know, just have a conversation. Like, like I hate when I meet somebody and they're like, oh, hit me up on Instagram. I'm like, I'm standing right in front of you. We can't yeah. just, like, people don't know how to have conversations. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's irritating. It's not a game, it's a red